Hey gals and guys, I'm going to show you how we're going to do our spelling sort this week. So you're going to make sure that you have, you'll need your list out in front of you and you're going to need a piece of paper. Now if you don't have a piece of uh, lined paper like this, then just use a piece of white paper and we're full and um, hold it, put it the landscape way or the, the hot dog way. So it's longer like this. And we're going to take and fold it in half one time. Increase it. Okay. So did you get what I did? So I took it and I just folded it in half one time. And then I'm folding it in half one more time. So, when I open this up, I have four columns on this side. Right, so, if you don't have four columns, then um, look at what you did, and maybe somebody can help you at home. So, you have four columns. And then what I want you to do is put your name at the top. And we're going to do a spelling sound sort. So we're not going to sort the words based on how they're spelled. We're going to sort them based on the vowel sound that they make. So first off at the top, so not on the line, if you're using line paper, but above the line, I want you to write the word paw. Okay. Now, what is the sound, the vowel sound, you hear in paw if we take off the P? We hear ah, ah, and that is ah. What sound is that? That's a short O. So I want you to write, just small, stay in this column, short O. O. And the way we sh show a short O is we put like a, a smiling mouth above it. And that means that is a short O. It says ah. Okay. Short O. It says I've got my, my coat on in here because it is freezing. I don't know. They turned off the heat on me old in the classroom. All right. Now in our second column, we're going to write words that have the short U sound. Okay, so you're going to write the word stuff above here. Uh. Can you hear that uh? That's a short U. So off to the side, just small, write short U, and then put a smiley above it. That stands for the short U. So, uh. So we have ah, uh, and we have uh. Okay. Let's listen to our third sound. And I want you to write the word toe. Toe. And in toe, oh, I got that E's bothering me. I have to fix it. Okay. The word toe, <clears throat> we have O. And what sound is that? That's a long O. So, O. So, over here next to it, write long O. And you're going to put a little line, just a straight line above that O. That means it's a long O. 
So, so far we have a, a, o, like the, the sound in toe. Fourth sound. Okay. Write the word do, do. What sound do you hear? You should hear that ooh sound. Ooh. Ooh. The ooh sound like in boo and moo. So that ooh sound in do. That's four sounds. We have one more sound. So you're going to flip your paper over. And our last sound, it's really hard to see the lines, but you can see them faintly. But our last sound is, you're going to write the word above the line, shout. And what's the vowel sound there? What do you hear? Ow. Ow. The ow sound. Ow. That O-U. So let's review those five sounds again. We have the short O, which is aw. Short U, uh. The long O sound, which is O. Double O, which is oo. And ow. The ow sound, like in shout or ouch. Well, make sure you have all of those five words written down. And now we're going to sort our words. And I'm going to give you a clue. There is one word in our list of 20 that's going to go in two columns. Okay? Two columns. And I'll give you a clue. Number 20 throughout is going to go, you're going to write it in two different columns because it has two different sounds. Can you hear through, ooh, and out? Throughout. Two different sounds. So like I said, the word throughout, you're going to write in two columns. You're going to write it twice. So let's look at number one. We have county. That sound is ow. County. Ow. Well, which one of these columns had the Ow sound. Uh, look, shout. Ow and county. Okay? So, on the line, super neat. You're going to write county. You have to spell it correctly or it will be marked wrong because it doesn't do your brain any good, any good to practice spelling it the wrong way. County. So I've used number one. I'm going to put a mark by it. All right. Number two, we have country. Country. What sound do you hear? K, uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. If you said short U, you are correct. So you're going to write the word country. And isn't it interesting that all of these letters make different sounds. We all have O-U. They all have O-U in them. And some of them have O-U-G-H, but they all make different sounds. These same letters all make different sounds. 
kind of confusing, especially for people learning English. That is a tricky thing. Okay, country. We got that taken care of. All right. You're going to finish with the rest of these words. Okay. One more I want to talk to you about is thorough. Thorough. You're going with the O sound with 16. Thorough. Thorough means to do a really good job, not miss anything. Thorough. So on that one, you're looking at the long O sound for thorough. The rest of you, sh the rest of them should be okay. Hopefully nothing there that will confuse you. But as we go through, listen for the sounds. Bought. Number three is bought. B ah, ah, ah. So what also, which word also has that same sound in it? Anyway, go ahead and finish up. I have a sneeze coming. Excuse me. Right. Go ahead and finish up your word sort, please, right neatly. Make sure you don't skip anything. When you are done, when you count up all of the words on this page, you should have written 21 words. 21 words. Because you have 20 words. But one word you're putting in two different columns because it has two sounds, two vowel sounds. So 21 words. Work hard and have a good day. See you soon.